Okay guys, this is a stocker here. Sorry about just how loud this is. I've only just started this up. This is the demo for the brand new XCOM Enemy Unknown. The game gets released on the 9th. Let's just turn the volume down. The game gets released on the 9th. Let's go turn it up a little bit. Put subtitles on. Video, we want windowed. Uh, I'm going to change the resolution and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to change some graphical settings. Uh, yeah, so this is the brand new reimagining of the original XCOM Enemy Unknown. The demo is currently out on Steam for free. And if you want, you can pre order the actual game. And I believe it is the 9th of October that the actual game is going to be released. But for now, let's start this demo and see what this game's like. I've watched a couple of quick videos on YouTube about it and it looks amazing. This is the very first time I've started this up, so I'm going to watch this intro cutscene just to see what it's like. Wow. Big meteor explosion impact looking thing. Only it's not a meteor, it's a probe. I, if I had to say anything, I'd say it's a probe. Or I'd say it's something rather War of the Worlds like. Oh, wow. <clears throat> if it gets up and starts walking, it's totally War of the Worlds like. Some kind of super technical power though. And the special effects kinda remind me a bit of the Green Lantern. <laughs> and fade out. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. <clears throat> well, the intro's definitely got me inspired. Now let's kill some stuff. Ooh, the second intro. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. Okay, we're going to Cologne in Germany. You were being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hour Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. It's looking good. And go. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Wonder why the Germans are using 
Blackhawks when we're using these whatever this thing is Those are cool guns. The size of the rifles compared to the size of the people kind of reminds me of a Space Marine. Central, you getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first, let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Okay, so basically what you can see is that the whole game is, is mouse driven. I don't know how the rest of the options work, but you can see they've told me to go here. And so you can see that there's now a, a shield that's half covered. That basically means, ah, right click to move. That basically means he's now behind half height cover. Okay, so that little flag at the bottom indicates how far he can move. Okay, good. that's good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Right click again. Delta two. So you can see he's in half cover. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Okay, so we'll move up a little bit further. Delta three. Move to that vehicle dead ahead. <coughs> so you can see he's gonna get half cover from the vehicle. Central, I have movement. Thirty meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Okay, so we're going to follow the instructions. Now you can see the area that's highlighted is the area I think that they can see, but it could also be the area they can move in. I'm not 100% sure how that works. Go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time. <clears throat> okay, so you can see now that it's got the little thing next to it that says dashing. I believe, see how it's into the yellow area rather than the blue area? Dashing means um, I think that you can't shoot because you're actually running, and that's not a like a pre-set up thing. That's basically. What do you see, Delta Four? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Looks like we're going to get into some action. Dr. Volan, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, <coughs> stay in cover. There you go, it says just what I said. So we want to get up to here, but we've got to stay in cover. So, I'm going to run to there. Okay, it won't let me do that, so I'm going to run up to there. Obviously, they've they've taken most of the control over from the demo to to stop me having any kind of free play. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Now there should be a way to move the camera around and like rotate the camera and do like an over the shoulder sort of look. Oh there you go, they want me to go around and inside. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. <coughs> okay, so I guess we're running up to there. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. I mean, they're making it very clear what they want me to do. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. So where do they want Delta him to one, go? There's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. Okay, so he wants me to run up so I can look through the window. In position. Looks clear. Okay, so we're gonna 
Get in there and get to cover. <clears throat> now, if you've ever played the the original XCOM games, you would know that pretty much the entire environment is destructible. So the fact that he jumped through the window didn't really surprise me. Once you start getting grenades and things, you can like totally blow through walls. You can do lots of really, really cool stuff. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy Delta 3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Delta 3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. <clears throat> this doesn't look good. Okay, so we've spotted our first alien. Ooh, second alien. Uh oh. He's down. Delta One is down. Ah oh, man, we're getting so owned. <clears throat> now he's suppressed. That means he can't shoot as well as he should normally. Damn it! Delta Two, your flank too. Find some better cover. All right, Delta Two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Okay, so you press spacebar to activate the tactical UI. Uh, now you get this cool view. Um, fire. What are the other options? Overwatch, frag grenade, or hunker down. Let's go for fire. Oh yeah. Taught him a lesson. Nice shot. Delta Four, you're free <coughs> up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Okay, so I'm. She's instructed to get into cover, so let's run over this way. Okay. Frag grenade. Now we get to pick where we want to throw it. <clears throat> let's just lob it. Let's see if we can lob it so it doesn't blow up our own guy. Just in case he's still alive. Oh yeah. Another one coming in behind. Ooh, ooh. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. So now I go to the tactical mode. Clear shot. Fire. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure <coughs> the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. That's. I hope that's not the extent of the demo. Oh, that's weird. <coughs> A little bit of loading lag there. Okay. All aircraft and weapons cost 50% less to purchase, build and maintain. Awesome. So where do we want to have our base? Do we want to base ourselves in Europe or North America? Um, expert knowledge. Let's go for North America and let's build some ships. Affirmative. We are coming home. <clears throat> so that's cool. Hopefully we get to see a bit of our base now and see what it looks like. That was one of the big things, the whole base design, how you laid your base out of the original. Hoping that 
Wow. What are they? Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, Doctor. The dubbing is so bad. I would have thought we could get this right by 2012. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project... Commander to oh. the barracks. Commander to the barracks. I was hoping to bring up some kind of option screen. Select the barracks. There we go. Barracks. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Select Only him. One recruit from okay. The squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Okay. Let's promote this guy. Select the promotion icon next to abilities. As you know, okay. Commander, every Sweet. soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. Sweet. Training fire rocket. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Sounds awesome. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see <coughs> the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Okay, oh, and he's got plus one hit point as well. So to the research labs. This seems very scripted, but I guess they want to give you an idea of what the game can do. I oversee the research labs. Without this totally of XCOM's research kind of giving you access to everything. Place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Sounds like I don't have a choice. <clears throat> okay, so we can get weapon fragments. These fragments are all that remain a powerful alien weapon we've encountered. Further study could lead to advances in our own weapons. Their materials. Uh, lighter and stronger than anything we've seen. Cursive examination. Current body armor. Let's go for weapon fragments. Begin. Thank you, Commander. This research <coughs> will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Awesome. It sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to mission control. Okay, Commander mission control. Oh. Huh. Mission control. Easy. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. <clears throat> awesome. Okay, there's one reported in the United States, and there's one reported in China. Well, we're closest to the one in the United States, so let's let's take the one that's closest to our base. Difficulty easy. Reward 200 pounds, reward four scientists. I want to get this research going, so that looks Understood. like a better reward for me. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. <clears throat> Before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Can I take them all? Yeah, looks good enough to me. Lunch. Oh, look at that. I'm flying. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> In the real one, you also have the ability to detect alien ships with your radar and then shoot them down as well. Yep. <coughs> Don't care. Let's go. Let's kill some more aliens. Hopefully, I've got control over this one as well and I don't get too badly owned. If I get really badly owned by these aliens, it was all scripted. If I do really well, I'm taking credit.
just so you know. That was a sniper guy. Where's my rocket launcher, dude? Ooh, so you can see now they've got different kinds of weapons and things. Your squad mate is close. Okay, so click on him. Yep, excellent. I can select him. So it wants me to go over here. <clears throat> Still kind of telling me what to do. Okay, so how do I quietly open a door? Press V to open the door. Okay, that's easy. Okay. Now take cover inside. All right. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Select the heavy tab. I'll oh, select the heavy using tab. Okay. Select the heavy. Now what did it say? Um, you can change elevation by pressing F and C or the mouse wheel. Okay. And we want to get up onto the roof. Okay. <clears throat> He's gonna climb the drain pipe. Awesome. Oh, we've seen some enemies, or have they seen me? Uh, both. Well, at least we know where they are. Does it tell me what to do now? No, it's given me the option to choose what to do. It's gonna dashing. I can get up to half cover. This is all half cover stuff. Ah, full cover. Perfect. Now you... I don't want anyone flanking us. So let's come around this side and get ourselves in full cover. Oh, you can see an alien. Alien activity. Okay, so now what this does is this links the two aliens together somehow and they become considerably more powerful but if you kill the one who started it which is this guy apparently what that gives you um, no I want to do the other guy, how do I attack the other guy? Um, you can I click? Ah perfect 69% chance to hit him 80% chance to hit him. But if I shoot this guy, I kill them both. Oh yeah! And see now, because I killed him, that's done something and that's frayed and fragmented his brain. Which is obviously cool. But now my heavy's not in any cover. Um... Let's try and take a bit of cover. Oh crud, wrong but wrong guy. Alright, we've got two guys on the roof now. Um half cover's not that good. How do I rotate the camera? Yep, yeah, that's my zoom in and out. Um camera, 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 camera. Mmm, come on. I know there's a way to do it. Oh, wise D helps to move things around. Oh, don't want to do that again. Ah, stuff it. A sniper that should be on the roof. Let's just bring him up anyway. Let's go for a run down the side of this building and see if we can get up to here. Perfect. Alien activity. Now I don't know where they are because I can't see them. Um, half cover. That's half cover. At least if I move him to there, hopefully he should still be able to shoot. You can also see that see how his weapons lost some of its colour? That gonna, that's going to indicate to me when he needs to reload. So, next guy. Um, not sure if I want to come around that side of it. Let's try running up, up ahead up there. He's already moved. I don't want to move him again. Might move my sniper up. 
something is going to come out of there, I can just tell. But. Where's the last guy? Up on the roof. At least he'll be under some cover if I move him down there. So yeah, the full game of this gets released on the 9th of October. So for those of you who would be interested in seeing me do a Let's Play on this, Ah, uh, in turn. Excellent. Um, let's start with this guy. Bring him up to here. See if he can see anything. Not seeing anything. This map's not too big, so there can't be too many places for him to hide. Okay, we've seen some. Oh wow! It's like okay. That's those two guys are going to really um, ruin his day. So let's try and get down here and help him. Got to get the heavy over as well. Got to keep him behind cover though. This guy, once again, let's try and get him over here behind cover. Uh, that's not going to be good. Ah! Darn it. Whoa, he's gone really high. Oh, that must be some kind of jump high and overwatch power. Okay. You. Let's take that sniper rifle and let's own this guy. Oh yeah, cop that. Critical hit and he's dead. Now let's get uh, let's get the heavy. What's the chance like with getting him 70%. I think we do this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Now this guy here hasn't moved yet, so let's run him over this way and get him into full cover. And see if he can see something else. That's flashing red box. What does that mean? Totally confused as to what that means. Maybe it means the alien might not be dead. I'm confused now, but I'm going to bring him up behind cover. And see if we can run this guy up behind some cover as well. don't know 100% what's going on and it kind of bothers me a little bit when I don't know what's going on. He's in the open, that's bad. Let's get, at least put him behind cover. Um, Let's check this guy out, see what he can do. Uh, it's kind of half cover, so at least there'll be something. And then who else do we have? We've got our sniper. So you can see there, he's lost one, two, three, four, five, six points of health, and he's got one point of health left. So he's in a pretty bad way. But he's a sniper, so hopefully he's, you know, fists full of awesome, and he knows what he's doing. Let's see if my heavy's got any moves left. Now it's skipping him automatically, which means he doesn't, so let's go end turn. <clears throat> now, which one of my guys had a medic power? Headshot. Uh, he does. Stabilize.
So let's get him down here next to my other guy <coughs> and see what this whole stabilized thing does. Um, I don't really want to leave him on his own, but let's car bring the heavy up. Um, end turn again. One of them's got to pop out soon. Okay, now let's go to our medic. I don't even know what that means. Maybe he's not hurt enough that I can do anything with it. Uh, <clears throat> guess we run back up. The heavy. Um, let's start with this guy. Let's run him up to the building. Bring the sniper up a bit. Bring the heavy up. I think we'll end the turn there. Can't see what any of the aliens are doing, and that's a bit of a... Select you. Let's open that door. Why does V not work? I'm sure V opened up the door before. Maybe because that door was locked. Um, I'm going to send this guy down as far as he can go. Try and flank my ray around the building. There's a bunch of windows on that side of it. And the sniper. Doesn't seem to be anywhere I can get him any higher, so we'll just bring him up. Just a little bit closer, where he's got a better view of the battlefield. Maybe I was meant to put my sniper up on the roof up there or something. Doesn't look like I can, so um, bring the heavy up to. I think that's a window just there. Nope. Should have moved in one step further so you can see around the corner. Oh, never mind. Okay, now this guy. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Well, how do I do that? I've got a shotgun and I've got a pistol. What's this guy got? Stabilize, overwatch, heal wound, smoke grenades. Um, screw it. Don't have much chance of hitting him though, but... Yeah, enough of a chance. He just went up in a puff of smoke. I mean, none of my guys have got any kind of... what I would call stun weaponry, so... I don't know what I was really expected to do. Up behind him. Now, if I got a tactical view, oh yeah, hundred percent chance with an assault rifle, you're so gonna die.
Okay, so, excellent, we killed all the aliens, and we lost no XCOM operatives. Awesome. That, yeah, lag when that screen comes on is a bit odd. Okay, ooh. Squh. Gabriel Valdez is gravely wounded and is going to be out for 20 days. And then we've got uh, Squatty Patrick Taylor. I guess SQ's Squatty. So Patrick Taylor from, that looks like Australia. So it looks like Argentina, Australia. And I'm really sorry, but I don't know what the blue and yellow flag is. But everybody else seems to be pretty good. So that's a, that's a good thing. Oh, look at that. We've got two corpses and five more fragments. As soon as you give the order, Commander. New facility available, laboratory. And we've got four more scientists. So let's go to. I want me to go to mission control. I want to go to research. Turns out I can't. Um, I think I'm going to say that's the end of this episode. This is starting to get a little bit longer than I was hoping for. I hope you guys like this game. If you guys would like to see me do a let's play of this once we get to the. Uh, well, I guess you'd call it the full version that comes out on the 9th of October. Let me know. I would be happy to do this as my Thursday game. I'm, I'm look, thinking this is going to be a fantastic game. So yeah, I'm going to have a bit more of a play around with the demo, but I'm definitely going to buy this. So yeah, if you guys like the look of this, let me know. Happy to get going with it. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A stocky out.